An abandoned property that's been an eyesore and attracted unwanted neighbors erupted in flames this morning, and that is our top story on the four. Good afternoon. I'm Steve Price. Yeah, I'm Jesse Pagan. Heather and Carlo are both off today. The San Diego Fire Department responded to a house fire around 530 this morning near 32nd Street and Polk in North Park. CBS 8's Abby Black is there live uncovering neighbors have complained about the property long before this happened today. Abby. Jesse and Steve, the neighbors feared that a fire would erupt at this abandoned property, and that's exactly what happened this morning. It looked really scary. It looked like our whole house was going to burn down. We were just watching from the street like, oh, there goes our house. Look at this dramatic image of the fire billowing behind this neighbor's home this morning in North Park. Fortunately, her home was saved, but it did char her fence. Several neighbors tell me that they've been concerned about squatters coming and going from these three cottages on the property near 32nd and Polk in North Park. This morning, we saw police respond to the fire and detain a man who was found uninjured in one of the homes on the property. We're told it was for something unrelated to this incident. You see that the abandoned cottages are boarded up. There's graffiti and the property is fenced off. The owner's contractor was here earlier today. He told me that he has to come weekly to board up the windows, but squatters break break in. You can see that they've made it a place to live. The contractor says that one woman even put her own lock on the windows. I'm working for you and found some history on the property. Get it done shows multiple reports about encampments. It says that police made contact with enforcement or outreach. Neighbors hope that this is the final straw and something is done to make this place safe. Homeless people have come in and been living there, so it's been a little bit unnerving um, having them in there and potentially this was kind of our main concern that what if they're cooking in there and do start fires. Um, so I know some of the neighbors have made complaints in the past and the cops will come kind of clear everybody out, but then the very next day they all move back in again. The neighbor says the contractor for the abandoned property told her that they would fix the fence and clean up her backyard. Now, I did reach out to police to find out more information about their prior calls to this property, and I've not heard back. Jesse. Abby, has the city done anything to address the concerns from people about this property? I spent all day looking through records and I found that there is a permit to demolish the property, but it's still pending payment of those fees. I found that the developer for the owner of this property would like to build a 72 unit six story apartment complex. And Jesse, just a few moments ago, I just got off the phone with the city and they tell me that there is an active investigation with code enforcement complaints made against this property. So we've done a lot of work and more answers still need to be done. So we will keep you updated as the story develops.